Okay, let's manually create a database for our WordPress installation. We're doing this through your hosting company's hosting control panel. Now there are many different types, but a very common one is cPanel, so let's have a look at it. Let's go here. This is our MySQL database area, and we're going to create a new one here called MyDB8, let's say. So I create the database, and it confirms it for me. This number and name here, Dream39, that's actually my username for my hosting account. The reason it's tacked on to the front here is that typically you're on a shared hosting environment. Most of us are. And in order to make sure no one else has exactly the same name database, maybe they use MyDB8, they tack on your username in the front so it keeps everything straight. Okay, there's our database created right there, nothing in it just yet. And also, no one can use it. There's no user attached to it. So let's create a user here. I'm going to go My New Use. Now, what if I tried My New User? Notice it can't be longer than eight characters. In this particular case, your system may be different. All right, let's start entering our password here. Now, keep an eye on this strength meter down below here. And we go there, and we're adding lowercase and uppercase letters, numbers, and symbols as well. And there we go. We've got a nice strong password there. I'm just going to paste it in again here. Notice they match up, so you have to do the password again. Make sure it patch matches up, and we create our user. There we go. It confirms it with the password. We go back, and now we see in our list of users, we've created our new one. However, it's still not connected to our database, so let's do that. Just grab your user there, grab your database, and click Add. It'll confirm for you up here. Just make sure you are putting the right user to the right database. Give that user all privileges for a WordPress installation. Make the changes, confirms it for you, and then we come back here and there we go. There's our user connected to our database. And now we've got three of the main pieces of information we need for our installation. Database name, database username, and the password. So we're ready for our installation.